Tara here and I'm back again with another skincare video and today's video is all about some of the ingredients in skincare that can actually help to even out your skin tone I feel like not everybody talks about evening out your skin tone a lot of people actually talk about hyperpigmentation discoloration and whatnot but then some people do not necessarily have dark spots or pigmentations and all of these things some people just have uneven skin tone like a bright forehead and a very dark chin area and you know stuff like that and so i just want to be sharing with you guys some of the ingredients that you can actually look out for in your skincare products that can actually help you target this particular issue and even out your skin tone first up is tranexamic acid i currently use the one from notorium and it is amazing you guys tranexamic acid works really well to inhibit excess production of melanin it helps to smoothen your skin it is an acid that is not necessarily exfoliating so it is one acid that you can actually pair with most of other acids out there and just use like both morning and night if you want but the caveat is you always have to wear a sunscreen whether you're using an acid or not like please wear a sunscreen all the time it is non-irritating that is another thing that i love about this acid like it is one of the very few acids that you can actually use consistently without necessarily having any major irritations or even any irritations at all so if you have a product that contains tranexamic acid like the one from paulo's choice or from the inky list i think that um good molecules has one as well the discoloration correcting serum amazing even though that one uses like a derivative of tranexamic acid but if you're looking for like straight up tranexamic acid and i really recommend this one from naturium that i currently use or even the one from the inky list it has three percent or polar's choice as well that is their discoloration serum as well with um three percent tranexamic acid any of these you know is a good pick for you the next ingredients that i love so much is licorice and like if you have been living on the internet i don't know why i'm doing my hand like this licorice is an amazing skincare product like you can find licorice in toners you can find licorice in moisturizers you can find licorice in serums as well personally i love to use them in either in a toner or in a serum form i feel like they, it works kind of like better for me that way i'm not saying that moisturizers with licorice do not work but then if licorice is contained in a serum or in a toner i just feel like it's going to work faster for me because obviously it is water-based so it's going to penetrate my skin like very very fast and you know i mean nobody has time to waste time if you know what i mean but licorice is like really really good with brightening your skin overall it's just going to help even out your skin tone and give you like a really smoother looking skin i love the toner from bolden because it contains licorice as well also the tranexamic acid from the terrain that i mentioned earlier on um, contains licorice in it as well so that can be like a one-stop shop for you if you want something with all of these really nice ingredients in them then try out the tranexamic acid serum from the terrain, like i said earlier on but the toner from bolden also has licorice there's another licorice toner from a well that one works really really well as well and so many other products out there that actually contains licorice even from Paula's choice just make your choice and just if you have any product that contains licorice extract in it then you should be okay next up glycolic or lactic acid and the reason is obvious they exfoliate your skin you can actually throw in salicylic acid into the picture as well but for brightening the skin for me somehow glycolic acid works better i'm not saying that salicylic acid doesn't work but for me me, I enjoy using glycolic acid better off than salicylic acid even lactic acid also brightens the skin as well so if you have a treatment or a toner or anything or a serum that contains glycolic acid or lactic acid in it then you should be good to go now what these acids do is they lift up the dead skin cells from your skin and just help you clear out the top layer of your skin glycolic acid is like very much fast penetrating so it's going to get like go deeper into your skin and kind of like clean it out the only difference is that salicylic acid is more oil soluble so if you have like super extreme oily skin then salicylic acid might be a way to go for you but if you have a like combination to like fairly oily skin like myself then i think that um glycolic acid can actually do the job for you so it loses the glue that holds onto your dead skin cells and pushes them away helps you slough them off to reveal like a brighter looking skin underneath thereby helping to even out your skin tone in the process next up vitamin c and it's an antioxidant it brightens the skin it is 
an all-rounder product it helps for anti-aging like you name it vitamin c covers almost everything in skincare i think that the only reason why some people tend to like shy away from using vitamin c serums is just because like the high potent ones like the ones that contain elascorbic acid which is like the most potent form of vitamin c tends to oxidize you know very very quickly so you kind of like want to like use it up as fast as you can but other than that vitamin c is an amazing product it helps boost the effectiveness of your sunscreen it is a great antioxidant you can use it both morning and night overall it helps to brighten out your skin even out your skin tone and give you a more youthful and glowing looking complexion overall next up niacinamide look at the way i'm dancing while mentioning this niacinamide is a product that i have a very very close relationship with i tend to look for serums that contain niacinamide in them as well as other products lately like i am not necessarily a big on just buying like a straight up niacinamide serum you can do that if you want but for me i love to mix it up with other ingredients so instead of having like multiple serums i just love to buy a serum that has a good percentage of niacinamide in it as well as other things that i know will be beneficial to my skin niacinamide is great if you have especially if you have like oily skin it's going to help you with like production of excess sebum it helps to smoothen the skin it helps with texture it helps with dark spots pigmentation and it also helps you with your pores you know it helps to decongest your pores as well niacinamide is like really really great however i'd advise that you use it sparingly or start with a niacinamide serum that has like a low percentage maybe three four five percent is like more than enough for you but if you want high strength then you can obviously go for like the ones with 10 percent the tm vita b3 source is a great peak as well but then other than that niacinamide is an amazing serum if you want even skin tone another ingredient that i really really love and this one is like just off the hook is turmeric turmeric is really really great i know that they are not a much product out there that actually contain turmeric in them and for this reason i'd say that having a diy mask with turmeric in it probably turmeric honey and maybe aloe vera or even milk or yogurt can just brighten your skin like instantly honestly this is one product or one ingredient that i use to like get an instant result so if you just want to like get an instant result like you just want immediate brightening like you just just want to glow probably you have an occasion and you just want to glow for that morning just mix up a turmeric mask and you'll be just fine like you're going to be amazed at the results if you have never tried it before feel free to try it and let me know what you think in the comments below now these are the ingredients that you might want to look out for there's so many other ingredients as the lake acid is there like tons and tons of other ingredients retinol also helps to brighten the skin but those ones are kind of like the safest and easiest to use i would say for me um that helps you with uneven skin tone so let me know what you think in the comments below and what do you currently use in your skincare routine to help you with uneven skin tone let's get the conversation popping and i'll see you guys another time until then have a great life stay safe and take care of yourselves for me